hey there. Hi guys, what are you doing there? Anyway, as you can see, today I am at the Rosen Center Hotel. Um, I am here for a work conference, but luckily for you guys, you get to see this hotel despite me being here for a work conference. So, what I want you guys to do, I'm asking you kindly, please like this video if you wanna see more videos of me touring hotels and showing you what you can expect. So, let's get right into it and I will show you exactly what you can see if you decide you wanna stay at the Rosen Center Hotel. Not quite like the Rosen Inn Hotel that I did that's literally down the street from here so it's a little bit nicer, a little bit more costly, about twice the price. But let's see and show you guys exactly what you could get by staying at Real Rosen Center Hotel. Let's go check it out. So when pulling up, this is what you will see. Rosen Center Hotel. Before we take you to the lobby and the check-in area, let me show you. This is pretty much a conference hotel. It's not a typical resort that you will find in Orlando. However, still conveniently located because right there, it's early in the morning, so not a lot of traffic. That is International Drive. And as you know, International Drive is a major tourist section and it's very, busy so that's international drive right there and that in the background is the orlando conference center we are located directly across the street from the orlando conference center so this hotel is not your typical resort you're going to have a lot of people staying here for conferences however it's still a nice spot to you know lay your head if you want to go to universal or disney world those are pretty close by so just like the Rosen Inn down the street it's conveniently located if you want to go to Universal which is down that way or Disney which is about 15 to 20 minutes tops away from here so you're not going to find a lot of shuttles going to Disney and Universal from here despite the proximity and how convenient it is because like I said it is a conference hotel they do have typical stuff like the spa and a pool etc but you're not gonna find three and four pools and massive water slides etc this hotel pretty much has one main pool which is not that big but big enough because most people staying here are here for a work conference or they're here to just go to Disney and Universal you get all the pool and water splashing you need there and all the different water parks so there's one pool, I'll show you that soon, a kiddie pool, and a big enough hot tub outside. So let's check it out and stop all this yapping and show you what you get. So some nice flowers right here when you pull up. Nice landscaping, it's Florida, what do you expect? Don't be surprised, I live here. I know it's always beautiful with landscaping at all the hotels. So as you pull up, this is what you see. That's the building.
You have valet that way, the lobby, ride share and self-parking. All that is valet parking. Nice waterfall area pulling up. Not waterfall, water fountain. So we are on the 14th floor. There's two sides. You could either get this side, which views the conference center, or you could get the other side that views the pool and possibly towards Disney, where in the distance, you could probably see some fireworks. Um, the Rosen Inn is down that side and it has the same view towards Disney. So they told me that you could see Disney fireworks, which is very far actually, but off in the distance. So if you could see it from the Rosen in that way, you could certainly see it from the Rosen Center this way. So here you go. Notice how it's set up. Nice big entrance. Parking here is $28 per night for self-parking. There's valet parking available. And if you're just overnight parking, it's 38 bucks. Not cheap by any means. So let's go on in and check it out. And given today's inflation, um, it's not that expensive either, honestly. So as you come in, this is the lobby. Nice and open directly to the elevators if you go in and out you could come straight from outside go straight to the elevator straight to your rooms don't have a lot of walking to do to get right in but it's beautiful this is a lobby to my left large you can see they anticipate a lot of people because it's a lot of counter spaces so it's pretty nice business center down that side concierge very clean very clean very clean very quiet ATM just as soon as you come in gonna get some cash they say they serve Starbucks coffee. There you go. Coffee right to your right as you get in. They have a little shopping area going on here, right by the spa and the fitness center. I'm not gonna go in there, but you have a general idea what you get in a spa. Okay, you get your bathing suits, some clothes. We're still in the lobby, by the way. So right here you have a bar. They had the game on last night, NFL game. There's a nice bar and lounge. You can sit down, relax, have a drink, grab a quick bite. And this one is called Sam and Bucks. Tequila and tapas. So as you can see, lots of options for food. We had sushi bar last night. I saw the sushi presentation. They look pretty nice. Not too costly, actually. Surprisingly. I guess you could get the general sense and theme of this hotel. It's not a resort. It's not a major vacation spot. It's set up to accommodate large groups of people 
for conferences or if you're staying here for the, the theme parks this is an in and out hotel this is a what's this called red's deli you could get breakfast sandwiches little snacks juices etc coffee this is the everglades restaurant and bar here you could dine and they you pay a flat rate and it's buffet style i'm not going to go in there you know what that looks like you google it and go on the, their website So breakfast buffet starts at $19.10. Give you a general idea of what it looks like in there. And we are still on the first floor just outside of the lobby. Everglades restaurant and bar. Give you a general idea of the prices like i said these it doesn't seem too expensive to me to be honest given today's inflation rate and what's going on in the markets so um yeah that looks like what you would pay on the street anyway initially i thought it was pretty pricey but now given second thought that's what's going on these days so nothing surprises me with it when it comes to prices these days all right, so down that side, they have the ballrooms and the meeting rooms. As you can see, it's very long, it's very big. I don't need to go down there, if you get the idea. And one heads up, let me give you guys. When you pull up to park here, do not, if you're not doing valet parking, do not let them tell you that you could just park and pull your luggages to your room you can but it's very far it's very far that caught me last night this is my second time at this hotel but i never thought about it that caught me last night so when you pull up word of advice if you're not doing valet and doing self-parking get your luggages out leave them inside the lobby you're with someone or your family member whoever you're here with then go park and come back and get them because if you don't it's a far walk, especially to pull those luggages on the carpet. It's not easy. The elevator is close by the lobby and close to outside, so trust me on that one. This is the pool area, as you can see. For pool safety, there is no substitute for adult supervision. Watch your children. We certainly will. This is Harry's Poolside Bar and Grill. I had a fish sandwich there the last time I came here. It was very good, very, very good. Mai Mai, I think it was. Yeah, it was very good. This is the pool. There's one pool. There's no need for multiple pools because this is not a big resort and this is not a hotel that people are staying at for a very long time. This is an on the go hotel, or like I said, for people having big meetings and conferences. So, this is the pool area. Pretty nice, pretty decent. Lots of lounge chairs towel hut across there there's a spa all the rooms are up there And I'm on break right now, so I gotta wrap this up in at least 15 to 20 minutes to go back into my conference so I could learn something. Jacuzzi, hot tub, nice and warm last night I could tell. There you go. There's also a kiddie pool here. Let me see if I could go capture that for you guys. So as you see, that's the building. You pull up on the other side. 
but the parking garage is all the way over the other side of this building so it's quite a walk if you have luggages to pull on that carpet and the restrooms right here I'm trying to find a kiddie pool on the website it said there's a kiddie, a kiddie pool so let's see where that is Good morning. So when you first come in and you check in and get your room, they give you this um, small printout of the map to show you um, exactly what to expect, what the place looks like. So let me flip the camera around and show you guys what's going on here. You see right there you have the pool. I'm still looking for the kiddie pool because based on the website, they have a kiddie pool. I don't see that. I did not see that. Where is that? And I'm looking on the map and it's not on the map. I have to ask someone. They probably got rid of it. Interesting. But as you see, look, it's not a resort. This is pretty much a conference hotel. Ballrooms, 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 you know? So that's what you should expect. And if you're staying, if you're having something over by the Orlando Conference Center, they have a skywalk that you could use to walk over without actually crossing the street. So pretty convenient, it works. And by the way, they have a rental car services on site. Alamo, Enterprise, and National. Disregard what I said earlier about there being a kiddie pool, there isn't anymore. There's simply the main pool that you see over there and two of those little jacuzzi hot tub pools. That is it. I think they converted the kiddie pools because probably hardly any kids come to this hotel, which you would expect. But there's no kiddie pool. Main pool and two of those little hot tub spa jacuzzi pools. That's it. That is it for this tour. There's nothing else to see here. So my wife just called me and said, before she takes the little one to the pool, can I step out of the conference and go check the temperature of the pool? <laughs> so let's go check the temperature of the water. Makes sense, doesn't it? So let's see. Gotta make sure it's warm for the little for the little one. Yeah. It's nice and heated. Feels very good. So depending on the floor you're 
staying at, that's the side you're gonna choose for your elevators. Floors two to 15 and floors 16 to 24. Are you ready to go up, Amelia? Jeez, so noisy. Go in. Hurry, okay. So this is the second floor, as you see, all the way down there, those are just ballrooms and meeting rooms all the way that way. Same thing this way. And that way. So let's go to the pool. Beautiful outside, beautiful day. It's in the 70s, so it's perfect. What's up, bro? What's up, brother? How's it going? Good, man. Good, good? See you, man. good to see you, man. Hey, I'll be back in a minute. Meeting rooms again. So we're going out to the pool to see my wife and the baby. And just a little heads up, it is not resort style. So my wife just told me that she had to order her food not from by the poolside or by the lounge chair but you have to literally get up and go over there to order your food it's not like some hotels or resort style properties where people are walking around and you can order from by the pool or from your lounge chair you know it advertises as poolside bar but not really the, the bar and is by the side of the pool but you got to get up and go there to order you won't be spoiled by sitting down waiting so that's where you gotta go. You gotta go inside, order your food, and then go back and wait. And then when it's ready, you go back and collect it. You go back to collect when it's ready. So, they have been waiting for their food over 30 minutes now. So let's go check in on the guys. And that's the pool. Hey! Hi! You have on your sunscreen? So getting out of the elevators, this is what the hallway looks like. Morning. Morning. This is basically what the hallway looks like. Nothing fancy. Pretty basic, however, pretty clean. Nothing to complain about whatsoever. Yep, you get the idea. Nice clean carpets, nice clean walls, no smells, nothing. Oh, and you have your vending machines and ice machine right here. One on every floor, just about in the middle, or somewhere there about. Typical stuff, water, Sprite, Coca-Cola, you name it. It's nighttime now, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick view of the room. I hope the lighting is acceptable. If not, I'll show you guys what it looks like in the daytime. But for now, this is what the room looks like. We are on the 14th floor. I think this building has 25 or 26 floors. So we're on the 14th floor and I am staying in room 1464. So let's check this out. 1464, got your keys. Oh, come on. 
What are you doing? There we go. Take your log. All right, knock knock. Who's home? Hi. Hi. Who's so, home? so here's the room. As you come in, you're greeted by the bathroom. Hi, and Amelia. Hi, say hi. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> so you got a separate area right here. Got some towels and rags and a closet as you come in. Got an iron, typical stuff, ironing board. There's a built-in safe for this one. Pretty cool. A few hangers, uh, 10 to be exact. And we go to the designated um, throne area where the magic happens. There you go, bathroom is clean. Got your hair dryer, vanity mirror in here and there. Take all stuff, shampoos, lotions, you name it. A few more towels, rags, I like it. A lot of towels and rags. Let's check out the bath. It is very clean. No stains in the grout or the caulking lines. Pretty good. No cracks on the tub, no scratches. They did a good job cleaning. Yep, decent, acceptable. Yeah, I like it. And for your convenience, dial 88 for bathtub mat and other amenities. All right, here's a bathtub mat right here. It's good, it's good. And at least you can lock off from the rest of the bathroom per se when you are making magic. There you go. All right, let's see. So almost a full length, well, full length mirror right here. A cute baby right there. Lots and lots of lighting. I love it. For those that like to read in the bed, lots and lots of lighting. This time we have two queen beds. Um, for this one, it's good to have two beds. At least you get her out of our hair when we're trying to sleep. Nice big flat screen, coffee maker. Um, lots of storage, let's see, lots of outlets, USB and otherwise, yeah. What size TV is this? Looks like about a... Uh, 50. 50-something. 50 <laughs> yeah, minimum 46 or 50-something, I don't know. Pretty nice, simple, there you go, trash bins, lighting, pretty good in here. Yeah, got a beautiful wife over there. Oh. Got your central air. Yeah, pretty decent room. Nice and clean. Very clean, actually. And we have a pool view. So it's nighttime right now. I don't know how that looks on camera in the night, but I'll show you guys what it looks like in the daytime. Is this the only pool they have? There's, a, there's another pool? Yes. I think they said they have three. Gotta be, right? Yeah, we'll check that out tomorrow in the daytime to see what that looks like. But yeah, that's pretty much the sitting area right there. Again, two queen beds, phone, typ typical stuff. People that go to hotels a lot know all this is just typical. It's typical amenities, they're used to all this stuff. Alarm, radio, yeah, we're good to go. I don't think there's much more to talk about in this room, nice artwork. Yeah, there's not much to talk about in this room. That's pretty much it. Show you guys what the room looks like. So we'll see what the property looks like. But for now, this is the room. Nice, clean, lots of space. Good to go. Coffee maker. Yep. What is this? Oh, just oh, it has wheels on it. Oh, pretty cool. Just a handle to pull it out. Yeah. That's it. It's pretty quick, solid. Oh, I forgot to add one of the most important things, especially for people with kids. We have a fridge. Amelia, Amelia, can you open the fridge, please? Please, open, pull, 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 pull. Is it hard? Give you some help. Look, open, open it, open it, open it, open it, open, 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 open. Okay, open the fridge. Let's see what's inside. Try the other side. There you go. Good girl. 
What's in there? Nothing. This is the view from our room. Let's show you what we're working with. Okay. Couldn't get to give you a proper view last night, so this is what it looks like. There's a pool, and like I said, um, I made a mistake. There's a pool and two of those jacuzzi hot tub spa thingamajigs. Um, there's no kiddie pool, like unlike the website and what I Google, so I was wrong. So that's the main pool, and you have two of those little tubs right there, one on the left, one on the right, right there. That's a convention center. Amelia, shh, shh, shh. hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's the skywalk, so you could cross mm -hmm. to the convention center. So you guys know, there's Walgreens right across from the hotel. There's also Denny's, I forgot to mention that last night. And also there is, I don't know if you can see it, is Red Lobster. Yeah, so if you're staying here, um, you don't have to go anywhere for food, really. Just exit the hotel, and right there, you have options. In the hotel. We checked in and we wanted something to eat, so we decided to go downstairs to the hotel lobby and check out the restaurants and the prices. They're not cheap. Not overly priced, but not cheap. So we decided let's drive out because there's a lot of restaurants on International Drive and around the vicinity. So we decided to drive out, see what's out there, and get something else to eat. We were gonna go somewhere, sit down and eat, but then out of nowhere, my wife and I saw McDonald's and we're like, you know what? Forget it. We just want to go back to the room. So let's just grab McDonald's. So here we are, McDonald's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let me show you guys, aside from McDonald's, right by the hotel, what else is here? Right across from McDonald's, you got Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin Robbins. Like I said, there are a lot of things in this area conveniently located so you really so really if you don't want see you can see the hotel is right there that's the hotel right there Rosen Center so if you don't want to drive out to get um, food that's too far away or you don't want to stay in the hotel you can literally walk right here just walk just get in your car and what am I saying? Get in your car. I'm sorry. Just go downstairs in the lobby, cross the street, and you have all these options for food. Obviously, not healthy food, but food nonetheless if you're hung hungry and desperate for something to eat. So let's see what else is here. This is a McDonald's drive through And right across there, let me show you. For breakfast, I don't know if you guys could see it on camera, but through there, right there, that's IHOP. Yep. That is IHOP. So like I said, you don't have to go far. You do not have to go far to get something to eat. That's the hotel right there, the Rosen Center. We're at McDonald's, like I said. So you don't have to go far. There you go. Food's available. Just on the outskirts of the hotel. So walk right out and your stomach is full.